Catters. Today we're doing the final product review video for the Black Hole Cat Litter Mats Robot Fish 4-Piece Pack. And since we've been reviewing them, they've stayed on this towel. And this is where we play. I just filled it up. Ready? Okay, ready? I'm going to see if I'll knock it out of my hand. Are you ready? So as you can see, they light up. They have an LD, LED light, a red one, and they also start swimming as soon as they enter the water. Joshua brings the kitties. Um, Trick never, ever, ever jumps on the counter. So the fact that he's willing to do that says something about these fish. Charlie just finished playing in the faucet as it was filling up. So there's four in a pack and you can just drop them in water like that and they start swimming. The cats really like these things. I mean, this is all that happens is Charlie like paws at them a few times and it's, uh, it provides entertainment for them when they're bored. And Charlie got on the counter tonight as I was filling up the sink, very interested in what I was doing. And now apparently it's more interesting to smell something else. A few readers have gotten them since we did the unboxing video. And there's lots of different ways that you can go about doing it. You could put them in a bowl of water. You don't have to fill up your sink if you don't want your cats on your counter. Um, you can put them in a bathtub, you can put them in a different sink, you could put them in a bucket of water. So there's lots of ways to go about it. If you have like an outdoor pond or something, like a little small water, you know, water pump type of pond, you can put them in there. There's lots of different ways that you can go about it. And it, they're just fun. There's something different, you know. I mean, uh, Triggy likes water. He in the sense that he likes to stay outside in the rain, but he doesn't necessarily go for water in general. So we pull one out and take a look. What's this guy doing? It says on here that you're not supposed to play or use them for children, I think. Yes, yeah, not a toy for children. It's only for cats and dogs, batteries included. So... Here's the deal, is I wouldn't have a problem at all introducing these to my four-year-old nephew. He's not gonna do anything weird or different to him than drop them in. So I think that they could definitely be a supervised kid's toy, but you have to follow the manufacturer's suggestion there. I mean, there's lots of products I don't use for their intended purpose. So that's why I would be all right doing that. The nice thing about these robotic fish is they come with four replacement batteries and a little screwdriver to use to re replace the batteries, you know, to pull the fish apart. The battery is right in there, right there where my nail just was. So that's really nice because those kind of batteries tend to be expensive. They also come with different fish so that it's four different fish but you might not get these exact same four fish so you might not get like the two yellow the pink and the purple it might be something different but there there'll be these fun different colors with polka dots and stripes this hasn't happened with these but one of the things that we encountered with other robot fish that we've product tested is that Charlie could pull off the tail like that. And then this tail is more of like a silicone type fabric or fab material. And he got it stuck in his mouth and couldn't get it out. So 
definitely only use these as supervised play with your cats. Because if I had not been there when he got the tail in his mouth, then it would have been a um, heck of a vet bill having surgery to get that out of his tummy. All right, once playtime is done, all I'm used to doing with these guys, and it seems to work every time, is just to take the fish out of the water. They're water activated, so as long as they're dry, they shouldn't be a problem. And then you just dry them off. I actually just tend to wrap them around in a towel anyway, just so that if the cat's do get on the counter. They don't have, they don't even know the fish are in there. They probably can smell them, but as long as they're not making that noise, they're not attracted to them and they don't want to play with them. So once they're dried off, you could always put them back in the box case that they came in because it's not too bad to keep. And then, but as I said, I just wrap them up like this and then leave them on the counter for next time. <laughs> Uh-oh, something tells me that whole rag is going to go into the, the water. But what is it, Wub? Get it, Wub. Did you kill it? see. <laughs> I don't want it dropping on the floor. Oh, oh! <laughs> my Charlie. He's my best hunter, and he just fell off the counter. Wooey, I know you wanted to take that comb off the counter. You hate that comb. That's what I'm brushing with in the morning. Just his mane though, he's very piggy. Okay, well apparently this is a fun game too that we've just discovered. All right guys, I'm gonna include some video that Amy did with Ash and Addie after this so you can see how two other ragdoll cats responded to these guys. Let's see if she, she's looking. Should we put more in, Bean? What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> what are those, Bean Bean? He can be a scaredy cat sometimes. Come on, Ashman. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to smell him. What are those, Ashy? Can you get the fishy? Moving in the form, or he's definitely curious. What are those, Ashy? Oh, I think the paw might come up. <laughs> oh, I think we're getting close. I don't want to stop the video. You get Ashby? So he's not bored. Oh, I spoke too soon. Ash, come here. Come see. Ash. All right, well, I thought he'd be way more excited about him, but he is instead going to go sit on that. Well, I think they're pretty cool. But he's so curious. Ash, you want to come get him? Come on. Come get the fishies. Come get him. Well, anyway, I like how they come in different colors and they light up. They don't seem too pumped. Sorry about my messy desk there. Let me know if you have any questions in the about section below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will also include a link to where you can buy these on Amazon. Black Hole Cat Litter Mat makes a cat hole, <laughs> cat hole, makes a cat litter mat that I absolutely love. And they're an awesome company for me to work with as a cat influencer, blogger type person. 
So I really, I really like them as a company. They've been very good to me and they make awesome products. So I'll include a link to their mat as well. If you want to check that out and we'll see you next time. Woo, say bye. Woo. What are you smelling? What are you smelling? Are you going to smell everybody's right there? My seeds. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Bye, guys.